So we're here in the San Juans doing the 500K Traverse, which is a hut to hut trip. So we'll stay at multiple huts along the way and just make our way back to town, skiing powder until the last day. These are the only hut systems that you can connect in the US that are fully staffed, European style. You carry a day pack and do a multi-day traverse between huts and all the food and whatever you need is at each hut. So there's nowhere else in the, in the US that you can do this type of trip. It's the first time for me that I'm skiing in the San Juan and I feel really lucky that I'm here and that it snowed right before we got here. It's one thing to go on a sort of ski vacation and be separate from your life. It's a whole other thing to be at a backcountry hut because it's so easy to check out and be present when you're someplace like this. You leave the hut and skin for 20 minutes and all of a sudden you're in this huge open terrain and surrounded by all these really steep, gnarly peaks. Yeah, it's awesome. Two awesome days at the Red Mountain Lodge Hut. And now we are getting ready to go to the Hayden Hut. So, big traverse day. They said we got five and a half hours if we haul ass and um, after two big days of skiing here, I don't know how fast I'm gonna be moving. So this could be a big day. I think one of the coolest things that we've seen here in the San Juans is that there's just this old mining stuff everywhere. It's really impressive. It's not the easiest living up here I could imagine. It's not easy now on modern equipment and I can only imagine back in the day how difficult it was. So now that we're at the Hayden Hut, the train here is totally different. It's a totally new world. There's another lifetime of skiing. You know, where we started, there was a lifetime, and now there's another lifetime of skiing. I've never personally skied the powder like this, like blower pow. It doesn't really exist on the coast up in BC where I'm from, so it's been really a cool experience to ski that kind of snow and like yeah we've i mean it snowed twice in four days and i mean we yeah definitely got super lucky whatever you want to find you can find here and, and ski it and it's huge and it can be scary or you can just ski mellow trees and powder and that's awesome too, and we have plenty of that. The whole trip has been incredible. I mean, like so many kind of backcountry trips, it started out, you know, like everybody was a little reserved, and, and then now on day five or six or whatever it is, we're all like vibing and it's easy and everybody's hanging out. and. And that's kind of always how it goes, like right around the time it's ending, you wish it would be. This trip has been just such a great opportunity to get away from the real world and unwind and just experience like really life at its simplest. You wake up and all you have to do is go ski. And when you just have that one focus, it makes life very simple and pleasant.